Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use multiple sliders to showcase services with automatic automation. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So before we begin, if you want to use the exact same images that we're using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Now this post will have all the uh, files that you need. You can just download them and load them up onto your a website. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. I'm going to give this page a name. So since we're talking about sliders, I'll just call this multiple sliders and then click on use Div Builder. Now I prefer working on the front end. So this is where we're going to design our layout. Okay, so for this, we're going to build from scratch. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch and we are going to start with a single column. Now, before we do anything else, the first thing we want to do is to add a background image onto this uh, design. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings and click on this gear icon, click on background, and then we're going to add our image. So I'm going to click here on the third tab and then click this plus button. So the image we're going to go with is this image right here, and I'm going to click upload an image. So for this design to work, you really need to use a dark image because we want our text to really stand out from the background. So make sure whatever image you're going to use, it's really dark. So now we're going to save and then we're going to go into our row settings, click on design. So what we need to do here is to adjust the maximum width. So I'm going to click here on sizing and for the max width, we're going to set this to 80 pixels. So now we're going to save this and we're going to start by adding our header. So I'm going to search for my text module and select it. And in here, we're just going to replace all this text with our heading, which just says multiple sliders. So as you can see, this is set to heading one. So you just need to click here on this drop down and set this to heading one. Next, you're gonna come over here to design and update our settings. So I'm gonna click here on heading text. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to choose my font. So I'm gonna go with Monster Ad. And we're also going to make this font white. So I'm gonna change the color here. And my size is going to be 6VW. Next, we're going to add some padding, both on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and I'm going to add a padding of 5%. Okay, so now this is applied both to the top and the bottom by activating this chain. And then we're going to save. Next, we're going to add another row. So I'm going to click here on this plus button to add a new row. And this time we're going to go with three columns. And I'm just going to close this for now. And the next thing I need to do now is to go into my row settings, click on design sizing. And as we did before, we're going to set our maximum width to 80% and then save. And then over here in column one, this is where we're going to start by adding a slider. So I'm going to click this plus button and search for my module. And here it is. Select my slider. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to delete this slider here and then on the elements here we don't need to show any arrows so i'm going to say no to this and we also don't need any controls so i'm going to say no to this as well now let's come over here to our background color and we are just going to make this full transparent now let's go into our design settings so i'm going to click here on design and i'm going to start with my text and i want my alignment to be to the left so i'm going to choose left alignment and then I'm also going to uh, choose my title font. So here I prefer just clicking this brush tool because this takes me directly to my settings. So here now I can choose my font, which is Monster Rad. And my weight here is going to be semi bold. And I'm also going to add my color for my button. So to start working on my button, I'm just going to come over here and just click here on this brush tool and now this takes me to my custom styles for button so I'm going to activate this and I'm going to start by adding a background color to my button so I'm going to click on this plus button and paste my color in here now as I mentioned before if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial I would leave a link to the post in the show notes below and there you can also download the layout all right so with this design we don't need any border width so I'm going to drag this and get rid of my border width Next, we're going to go to our animation. So I'm going to select animation here. So here where it says automatic animation, we need to set this to on and set this to 300 milliseconds. In fact, 3000. 
And also, we need to make sure continue automatic slider on hover is set to on. By default, Divi adds a subtle fade animation between slides. Now, we want to disable this so that there is no noticeable change between slides. So to do this, we need to add the following CSS to the slide description. So we're going to come over here to Advanced, Custom CSS. And on the slide description, this is where you want to paste this CSS code. But of course, if you want to leave it as uh, like that, you can just leave it as it is. And if you want to use the exact same CSS, I will also um, leave you a link to the post in the show notes below. So this takes care of the slider settings. Okay, so now let's start working on our slides. So I'm gonna come back over here to content and we're going to click this gear icon. So now we can go in and customize all this text. So I'm just gonna get rid of most of this. And of course you can enter whatever text you need in here. So I'm pretty much happy with that. So I'm going to save this. And then all I have to do now for my other slides, I'm just gonna duplicate this twice. So now we have a total of three slides here. All right, so we're gonna save this. So what we're gonna do next is to copy this slider here in column one into column two and column three. So there's an, easy, there's an easy way to do this. Normally I just use uh, keyboard shortcuts. I like using Command C on the Mac or Control C on a PC to copy and then Command V or Control V to paste. Now let's go to our slider one. So we're going to open up this very first slide and start making changes to it. So here let's update the slide background color. So I'm gonna come over here to background and I'm going to change my background color here. I'm gonna paste it. And I'm also going to um, add an image. So I'm gonna come over here to my third tab, click this plus button. So the image you wanna add here is pretty much any image. So I'm gonna go with this one and the size here is 800 by 878 pixels. I'm gonna upload my image. And then I'm gonna come over here to my blend mode and set this to multiply. Next, I'm going to uh, work on my button here because the background color is way too close to my image here. So I'm gonna come over here to design button. So my button background color is going to be white. And now I need to add my text color. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. So now this is how our button looks and it really stands out. We're gonna save the settings. So what will happen now is as this finishes its cycle, you'll notice the design we've just done and there you see it. All right, so now that we're done with this, I'm gonna save this and then we're gonna come over here to our middle column. So for this one here, we need to go to the middle column. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. And as we did before, we're going to go to our background and add our background color. So we're just gonna replace this with our new color. We are also going to add an image. So I'm gonna click here on the third tab, click this plus button and add our image. Click upload an image. And we also need to set our blend mode to multiply. Or oh, in fact, you know what? Let's use soft light for this. Now let's work on our button because right now it's quite difficult to read because of this dark background. So I'm gonna come over here to design button and I'm gonna say use custom styles for button. And for my background color, this is going to be white. And then for my text color, I'm just gonna paste it in here, that. And pretty much I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. Right, so let's work on the third column. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. And the first thing I'm gonna do here on the design tab is change my button color. So I'm gonna change this by clicking here and pasting my color like that. And now I'm gonna go into my content and open up my settings of the third slider. All right, so again, for we're going to start here with the background and we're gonna change our background color. So I'm just gonna replace this. And we're also going to add our image of choice. So I'm gonna click here and choose my image. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add my image and upload an image. So with these images here to look um, beautiful, we also need to add our overlay. So I'm gonna come over here, set this to multiply, and now it's looking much better. Now it's time to work on the button. So I'm gonna click here on design button. I'm gonna activate use custom styles for button. And then I'm gonna start by adding my button text color. I'm gonna paste it. And we're also going to change our background color by setting it to white. And now that looks way much better. So now we can save and let's preview our design and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna save this and exit the visual builder. 
Now these slides are automatic, so all we have to do is just wait and watch these cycle through the different titles. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.